Hi there, in this video I'm going to make the crankshaft for the Upshur Opposed Twin. So all the crankshafts I've made so far have been fabricated, but they've been single throw crankshafts. I've never tried to fabricate a two throw crankshaft. Um, but I'm going to have a go in this video. Now, my plan is, first of all, is to use this, wrong this long piece of silver steel. So this is 5 sixteenths of an inch in diameter. Now I've done a test drill and ream in this piece of scrap here, um, which is 5 sixteenths, just to check that this will run freely for when I make the big end bearing, and it does. However, what I found out is it's slightly oversized to fit inside these uh, roller bearings here. So what I've had to do is on the on the sides here I've taken round about three tenths of a thou off and uh, they're fitting quite nicely now so having done that I think the way I'm going to go about manufacturing these is to drill and ream these three pieces all in one go and to do that I'm going to join them up like that and I've put some uh, little uh, centre punch marks in here just to show me the orientation for when I assemble it later on. So, found an error in my, uh, <laughs> in my drawing. Um, what I'm going to do, so this represents the outside pieces and the bottom one here is going to be drilled and reamed to 5 sixteenths of an inch and the top one is going to be 9 30 seconds of an inch not 5 sixteenths because what I'm going to do is when I make the um, insides these pieces here I'm going to put a little boss on so um, the way, the way this will work is the, the centre hole will actually be uh, 5 sixteenths of an inch to be able to take that shaft like that. And that's how I'm going to try and assemble it. Hopefully it'll become a bit clearer as, uh, as we progress. Okay, so those are the uh, three pieces locked tight together. And uh, what I'm going to do now is put it in the middle find these two edges to get the centre point once I've done that I'll get back to you ok so I've centre drilled in three places and now I'm going to open each hole up by 6mm uh, in diameter OK, so I've uh, just stopped short of the parallel. So I'll just uh, move the parallel out and uh, complete the cut. Well, while I'm on the centre hole, I decided to uh, open it up again with a 7.8mm drill bit and now I'm going to uh, ream it to uh, 5 sixteenths. This is reamed to 9.30 seconds. Now 
and trying to uh, drill this hole here I'm just catching on the edge so that's going to push the drill out so what I'll do is I'll uh, switch it around in the vise and put it in this position and then I'll repeat that same process on this side but I'll do all that off camera well that seemed to work out okay uh, one thing that didn't work very well was the Loctite 638 when I tried uh, gluing these together and uh, didn't perform very well at all so what I ended up using was uh, super glue and uh, before making the journals I think what I'm going to do is to round these uh, ends off and uh, these ends here got just caught by the drill as it came through Unfortunately it's not perfect but hey ho. Well they sort of turned out okay. Not perfect by uh, any stretch of the imagination. But uh, hopefully functional. And uh, well, <laughs> I messed up a little bit when I was machining. Putting these sort of round ends on. I machined off some of the uh, witness marks. But I think I've uh, worked out what's what. Um, so what I need to do now is to uh, make these journals to fit in here. So the uh, two journals need to be something like this. Uh, critical dimensions being this inside area here being uh, 0.313 of an inch. And uh, that will separate these pieces. And... Um, this dimension here, the uh, OD being uh, 9 30 seconds, so I get a nice fit inside these holes, uh, which will be Loctite together. And um, these dimensions here don't matter really if they're uh, bigger than that, because I can finish the uh, sides off uh, on the mill, I think and uh, the 5 sixteenths well it's silver steel it's uh, spot on 5 sixteenths so uh, that's already been determined okay so I've uh, set the carriage stop to uh, 3 sixteenths of an inch and uh, I need to take off 30 thou so divide that by 2 and we're 15 thou and that should get us close to uh, 9.30 seconds of an inch. Now I know it's, uh, well, I've been informed it's not good practice stopping the lathe and moving the tool back like that. Uh, but I don't want to lose my accuracy. So uh, hey ho, uh, it is what it is. Still a bit to go yet. Take another thou off. Oh. 
Getting close. Looking good. Oh, not gone far enough in. That's weird. I wonder if I've got my dimensions wrong there. Oh no, that's for the other side. We're all right. This is the centerpiece. Ah, looking good. Great. It's a bit of a raised edge here. So what I'll do is I'll swap the uh, tool for this radius one and just take that off, but I'll do that off camera. So I've just cut it over size using the saw and uh, it, it should be, um, well it should end up as being 0.7193 of an inch long and uh, what I've done is I've uh, 3D printed a couple of spiders for the chuck um, these are off Thingiverse, and there's loads of them, but this one seems to be uh, a pretty good fit. Mind you, it's the only one I've tried, to be honest. Um, so what I can do here is I can push that up against the stop now, and uh, tighten this up. In fact, they do another size which I uh, printed off, let's try that slightly thinner one this is I think five millimeters so you can use them in combination that's a 10 millimeter so you could go 15 if you wanted see what that looks like that looks alright so I'll uh, just tighten that up I'll face it off and then uh, measure it and uh, see if I can get it down to the proper size. Well, I've just faced it off, uh, so I'll take it out of the three jaw chuck, uh, check the length, and uh, get it down to this uh, target size of point at 7193. But I'll do that off camera. Okay, so the piece is slightly oversized, and I've calculated to get the inside of this journal to be 0.313 of an inch, I need to take off uh, 0.2 of an inch here um, in length. So I've set the uh, carriage stop and uh, I need to get this down to a dimension again of 0.281 of an inch.
close. Looking good. So again, I've got a burr on here, but I'll uh, take that off off camera. Well, I've just realised that um, I got my calculations wrong. I calculated I need to take uh, point two of an inch off here, but actually, it needs to be point two three eight of an inch. So uh, I'll rectify that off camera and then I'll get back to you and I just thought I'd show you to take this burr off I've uh, used both these spiders and it's uh, just got it right Well, my target was 0 0.313 and it's 0 0.3135, so uh, that's not too bad going. And uh, what I need to do now is to make another one identical, uh, but I'll do all that off camera. Well, not looking too bad so far. Um, so what I'm going to do now is clean all the faces up and I'm going to uh, lock tight it all together. Um, but the lock tightening is going to be a little bit sort of... Um, difficult to do I think so uh, I'll have to do that a bit off camera well the lock tightening seemed to go okay a bit fiddly um, but, so what I need to do now is use these V blocks just to hold it in place and then uh, put it in the vise on the uh, on the mill and uh, I need to drill some holes at the appropriate places so I can pin it so what I've done to uh, try and get uh, the crankshaft nice and sort of like parallel and level and everything um, I've rested the crankshaft on this parallel here which is sat on top of the vise so that means that this face here is parallel with the bed and then I need to make sure that this is parallel with the bed as well and to do that I've put a couple of um, parallels underneath which aren't actually touching the bottom of the v-blocks but I reckon if I can get a ten thou feeler gauge under this side which I can just and the ten thou feeler gauge under that side which I can just do it as well that means that that's parallel as well so uh, all in all uh, we're good to go so what I need to do is uh, first of all I'll centre drill one of these positions and then have a go at uh, drilling through with a sixteenth of an inch drill bit uh, so we can have a go at pinning it. Well I've already centre drilled and now I'm going to use this micro drill chuck uh, to see if I can get right through. And this is a piece of silver steel, just as a test. Perfect. Even better ones locked tighter in place. So uh, what I need to do is uh, go around all these positions and uh, do exactly the same thing. Once I've done that I'll get back to you. Well I realised on the first hole I wasn't putting enough uh, pressure on. Um, so this is how I'm doing it now.
Well, those are the uh, pins. I use Loctite 638. And uh, these just need to be tied up now. So what I'll do is I'll take a similar approach that I did before. I'll put that in uh, V blocks. Uh, straighten it up and then just skim over the top. Uh, but I'll do that off camera. So now I need to remove these pieces here with the hacksaw. I've just put a little shim in there to stop me from uh, cutting down onto the journal. So hopefully this will work. So I think the final step now is to just clean these edges up. That's tidied up reasonably well. Happy with that. Well, that seemed to work out okay, and. Uh, I've tried to test the accuracy of these journals to see if there's any run out, but I don't really know how to do that properly. But of the tests I've undertaken, I can't see any evidence of any run out, so I'm reasonably happy that everything's running true. And uh, of all the crankshafts, well, of, of the crankshafts I've made in the past, sort of based on that type of design, albeit single throw ones, I've always fabricated them. And it's the first time I've fabricated a two throw. Uh, so fingers crossed it'll function okay. And uh, the crankshafts I've fabricated in the past have always been um, sort of put together with Loctite 638 and pinned. And I've never had any failures. So, um, like I say, fingers crossed it will be alright in this one. I suppose if it does fail, then there's an opportunity for me to. Uh, Go to plan B and make one out of a single piece of metal, which I've never done before. <laughs> so that should be a laugh. Uh, but anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you later. Mm -hmm.